you a question about Hodger. We'll have your thoughts on his performance tonight. You know, I thought uh, it was. Um, I thought he did a good job, and when you look at a fighter like Kevin Randleman, I mean, he knows all the tricks in the book, right? And uh, he knows how to escape, he knows he's a very strong fighter, has some good hands. He's, at any point, a very dangerous opponent and could have, you know, thrown some big bombs that could have done some damage on Hodger. But uh, I think he played a very, very good game plan, and uh, eventually wore him down and then submitted him. So, I think he did a very good job. And a quick follow-up, where does this place him? Uh in his division, do you think this performance moves him up a bit faster? I mean, what are your thoughts on getting him back in right away? Well, I mean, he fought a guy that had a uh, tremendous amount of experience. and uh, But, you know, really, Loretta, what I like to do is sit down with uh, Roger and his camp and, and evaluate, uh, you know, where they want to go, where we want to go, and, uh, you know, put him into another fight that's competitive. But, um, you know, that conversation happened, has not happened yet. Okay, thank you. Another question? I was on Sports Radio 810 WHB in Kansas City. Hodger, how much of a responsibility do you feel to uphold the, the Gracie legacy in MMA? Yeah, that's the sort of thing that I've been dealing with since early 10 years old, since I've been stepping in the ring. And I think Kevin Gracie has some sort of responsibility when he fights because, you know, he's sort of representing the whole family when he's fighting. And I think the more you fight, the more people start looking into you. And you know, that's been happening with me. Um, I've been very, very active for, you know, for many years, fighting in Jiu Jitsu, you know, grappling, and now more into MMA. So it's the sort of thing that you have to, to learn how to deal with that sort of pressure. Because, you know, you can't let that interfere in the, the way you fight or your concentration. So I think I, I'm pretty used to it. And uh, we're going to see if I did, are you going to step up the frequency of your fights? This is your third fight, and uh, you turned pro in like, what, 06? Yeah, my last fight was also for uh, 2007, but you know, I'm pretty sure I'll be fighting soon. I don't really know exactly when, but you know, hopefully in the second half of the year, we'll see, but I hope I'll be fighting more often. Thank you. Thanks. Any other questions? Roger, how did you feel in there after such a long layoff from MMA fights? Did your competition and grappling tournaments really help fight off any rust you might have had? Oh yeah, absolutely. The fact that I wasn't fighting in MMA, but I was still active you know, in Jiu-Jitsu and, and grappling, that's definitely helped me a lot. Because all the, the hardest thing is to, to deal with, uh, with the pressure before the fight, all the adrenaline and things like that, but you know, it's, it's the same, it doesn't matter the modality you're fighting, that sort of thing is, is, is just like for every single fight. Thanks. Hodger, backstage we talked about just for a second. You uh, talked about some body shots, I believe, that you said were really, really hard. Could you talk a little bit about Randleman's performance where you felt he was the deadliest against you? I think you said that was an area. Yeah, I think Kevin Randleman is a very dangerous fight. You know, he's very fast and very explosive. And he has a, a very dangerous left hook. And, you know, doesn't matter where in the fight, the moment that he throws that, you know, he can knock everybody out. And I think that was my main concern against him this fight and in, I think I was able to keep the reach so that makes it harder for him to, to reach me with that with the left hook in the face. He tried to reach my body a couple of times. He got me twice so you know I could feel how strong he was because you know he really threw those little hard punches but you know glad I, I was able to keep him away from throwing that on my face. Any other questions for Hodger? Yeah. 